Hey, would you look at that? I'm doing the intro now. What's up, everybody? D-Man back. Welcome to a brand new video. And today we're going to be doing another Godzilla Minus One news and updates. Now, this is the back half of the last video that I recorded. This is going to be continuing our first half of week one of Godzilla Minus One updates. There's just so much to cover. This one is great. I'm really excited about this one. We've got a great interview we're going over, and it's got a lot of good info, and I'm very excited about it. It also gives us a good career overview on director Takashi Yamazaki so that we know all about him going on. I also uh, paid for a newspaper for this one that I don't know how to unsubscribe from, so I'm uh, help actually help me help. Uh, you'll hear more about it later. All right, enjoy. Let's start out by jumping into it with some incredible artwork. Oh, this one comes to us from one of my favorite artists, one of the greatest guys I've met, Lenny Romero. This is his Godzilla Minus One art. Lenny, this one's incredible. I love the smoke in the background. I love Godzilla. You've done a great job texturing Godzilla. Oh my gosh. I love the spike on his elbow. The face looks great. You did a great job with those teeth as well. The eye looks great. This art really brings out the Heisei-esque design. Next up, we have a print from Mr. Mad Frank, who did a Godzilla minus one print for GFest 2023. And the thing that I really loved about this one was that he included the little girl from the teaser. I like the way she's standing there while Godzilla comes down around her. And of course, Godzilla's biting down on the train car, 54 style just like he's about to do at the end of that teaser great stuff a 7.5 foot godzilla 2023 statue appeared at toho cinemas in hibiya this statue is great i was wondering when these statues were going to hit the street they did this with shin godzilla they did it with the 2019 godzilla i was wondering when this was going to start and i'm so glad it started because it looks so so cool gormuru island shared some kdm shared some and overall it just looks incredible he looks crazy i mean he looks really really wild we've got a picture showing him from head on we've got a picture showing them from a bit more of a higher angle. I like this picture a lot better. It shows the design a little better, makes him look a little less strange. And I really like how twisted and contorted his tail is. That is fantastic. It's a fantastic touch. It just shows off the incredible skin texturing and patterning they've given the new Godzilla. I am so excited to see him in action. And then KDM posted this up close picture of his face showing his really grotesque, nasty mouth with the Shin Godzilla teeth. This really pink, fleshy mouth that looks really yucky. The tongue looks great. I love the membranes holding the the top and bottom jaw together. The gums are great. I don't think we've really ever seen Godzilla with detailed gums before. The nose is also really nice. I like that he has nose. I wish he had ears, or at least I wish he had what was ears that are now fused onto his head. We don't really see those, but that'd be cool. And then I'm a big fan of the eyes. They remind me a lot of the eyes from Godzilla versus Megalon with the multiple rings. That's just great. I don't know if that's a Godzilla versus Megalon reference, but it really reminds me of the eyes from Godzilla versus Megalon. We haven't seen a Godzilla with eyes with this many rings in them since the Showa era. At least not that I can think of, so I'm a big fan of that. Next up, I'll give you a little teaser for the next video and what we'll be talking about, but Canon revealed to Godzilla statue that at first I misidentified as being the same statue in a new location, but it isn't. This is actually a much smaller Godzilla statue that is supposed to be showing off the skin texturing for Godzilla, and they've done a great job with this Godzilla render as well. So I'll talk more about that in the next video, but I wanted to show it off here just as a teaser. All right, this is the biggest story for the video. I'm going to try and run through this very quickly because there's so much to cover, but Takashi Yamazaki recently did an interview with the Asahi Shinbun, that's a newspaper in Japan, which I subscribed to so that I could read this article, and now I can't figure out how to unsubscribe to it. So anybody who knows Japanese, please help me figure out how to unsubscribe to it. I can't figure out how to unsubscribe. I've got a whole month to figure out how to unsubscribe, and I need to unsubscribe. I don't want to be paying for this newspaper for the rest of my life just because I wanted to read one article and I don't speak Japanese, so it's hard to unsubscribe. But it's a great newspaper. I'll run through some of the big details. It's really wonderful. It also features a picture of Yamazaki in Post with Godzilla, so that's great. <laughs> I love seeing him there in the mixing studio. He looks so happy and proud. Good work, man. He's done such a good job. He deserves to feel proud. And it's got that Godzilla render in front of this blue sky background. Very beautiful. I don't think this is a visual from the movie, but I do think this is a really wonderful visual that they will continue to use to promote this film. This appears to be the same Godzilla render and position as he is in in the poster. We can just see it now without the G covering it up. This is what the full thing looks like. And it looks wonderful. So good. Great job, Mr. Yamazaki. We are all happy for you. But this article gives a career overview for him. It starts out with a quote from him stating, 
stating, I want to excite the audience in relation to this new Godzilla movie. They also say that this movie was made by Toho Studios, and then it says set in the Setagawa Ward of Tokyo. I don't know if that means the movie is going to have scenes set in the Setagawa Ward of Tokyo, or if that means Toho is located in the Setagawa Ward of Tokyo. I couldn't quite tell. But Yamazaki says he was originally inspired to make films by Steven Spielberg's Close Encounters of the Third Kind. He started making movies in 1979 in middle school where he made a science fiction movie on 8mm featuring a 2 meter spaceship that he built out of plywood. It became a huge hit at school and the pleasure he felt when long lines formed to see the movie has kept him going to this very day and is what makes him nervous to find out the box office results for his movies. He always wants to refeel that feeling that he felt as a kid. He studied films in university and really took off once he started working for the Shiro Gami Company in 1986 where the president, Tatsuo Shimaru, took him in and put him in charge of CGI. His first feature film, Juvenile, from 2002 was made while he was working for the Shiro Gami Company and caught the attention of the production company Robot. It was Yamazaki's charm that landed him the massive film that gave him his first hit. Five years later, he started his famous Always Sunset on 3rd Street series and was acclaimed for its VFX recreations of the 1950s Tokyo and for its ability to depict family life and affection on such a human level. He then started to adapt content into CGI and live action, giving him more experience with action sequences. This led him to his biggest challenge of date, Godzilla. He has some wonderful quotes about Godzilla in this article and the new movie and what we can expect from it, stating, Godzilla is very scary. I want the audience to feel the same shock as when they first saw Godzilla about 70 years ago. That is what I've been asking for for my entire life. I've just wanted them to go. What would audiences back then have felt about Godzilla and how do we make audiences nowadays feel that the horror, the fear, the tragedy, I want to feel all of it in this new movie and I'm so excited that that has been his goal. I cannot wait for his movie. This is where his big quote comes from when he states, I just want to surprise and excite the audience. And he has done a wonderful job. We are all so excited. He is putting on an exhibition to show how his movies are made so that it can inspire new filmmakers. He became a director because as a VFX person, you don't get to come up with ideas. You only get to execute other people's. Always was made as a favor to Mr. Abe, his boss, and wound up being his biggest hit. He says nowadays, special effects are his armor and he would never go into battle aka make another movie without them. VFX and CGI are advancing and so he is trying to stay on the cutting edge so that his films never fall behind. That's wonderful to hear that a special effects driven filmmaker is in charge of Godzilla now. I cannot wait. The staff on the set of Godzilla Minus One hung up a poster saying audiences around the world are waiting for Godzilla so don't make it with half-hearted feelings. That was set up to encourage Mr. Yamazaki and keep him going. That is just such a wonderful touching story showing how dedicated the crew was and how much they cared for their leader. He says it's his goal to always run sets where people feel free to speak their word and are comfortable and supported. He sounds like a really great guy and a wonderful leader to work for. He wanted to do Godzilla now because it's been 15 years since his Godzilla cameo in Sunset continued, and he feels that now is the time to make something truly special with modern VFX. He says another reason that now is the time is because Shin Godzilla came out and it was a very interesting and motivating film for him. It gave him the inspiration to make this. He's not sure what comes next. There are too many projects that have been offered to him and he's just waiting for the right one to strike. But he's excited to reveal Godzilla Minus One as it will be his 20th work and his biggest to date. I thought that was a wonderful article. Again, I'm glad that I got to read it, but I just wish I knew how to unsubscribe from that newspaper. That sucks. And then finally, Kaiju News Outlet posted a picture of Yamazaki in the post booth with the caption, I want to excite the audience. And that tweet blew the frick up. It's so great to see Kaiju News Outlet just doing great and getting so much love and attention. He totally deserves it. It. And Guillermo del Toro, director of Pacific Rim, even noticed and got hyped about the new Godzilla design, stating that he's a big fan of it. And that's just wonderful to see how many people are rallying behind this new movie and the Japanese Godzilla and how excited the world seems to be for it. That's where I'll leave you for this one. I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons over on Patreon for helping to support this channel and keep these videos coming. Without their support, I could not be making these videos like this for you. If you want to support the Patreon, you can use the link in the description below where you can get early access to content, access to the Discord community, and more. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time for the next one. D-Man out.